good player. He's really innovative. He goes for a lot of different things that like people don't see. And these are like two of SoCal's very like innovative players with yeah, their characters. Some of the most yeah. creative combos and things Boyd with their respective yeah. characters. They just come up with some of the wildest stuff and they're really fun to watch. Yeah, so it's gonna be Wolf versus Joker. Who versus Joker? Yeah. Like this is ridiculous. winner quarters, right? Yes. Well, this is winner's quarterfinals. Well okay, so pretty yeah. one one twit longer and everyone's yeah. here that this is a quarters yeah, match. Like quarters match, right? That's what I'm saying. So it's really good to so watch. So this could have been a grand at any other tournament a uh, couple weeks ago. So is this an even matchup or how this matchup plays out? Um, I haven't got to see it too, too much because we don't have, like, a lot of Jokers here in SoCal to see, but we obviously have a good number of Wolves, but a quick stop, no. He gets stuff like, oh, that's what I'm talking about. Charlie, he's like, you see a lot of people do training room combos all the time. Charlie's like the only, Charlie and Void are the only guys that get their training room combos in stream matches in actual bracket, you know? Well, the thing is, like, people that lab their training room combos, they aren't ready, or oh, they don't oh, lab oh, how to actually start them. I really like that, that drag down up there on the platform. Yeah, I'm sorry, what was that? I was saying that people, when they do their training room combos, they get the combo down, but it's like, oh, how do I start this? How do I land in an actual match? Yeah. And Charlie and Void are the players that they have the game knowledge to say, this is how I would look, or this is what I would look for so I can start this combo. Is that actually a good option, the upwards gun to gimp? Oh, was that um, a misinput? I would expect down, but, you know, maybe the up gun would hit yeah, I think, if, uh, yeah, okay. if Charlie goes high, maybe? I don't know. Gimp, yeah. Really good game by DC right now. Let's see if Charlie, oh, ooh. I'm not sure if that was supposed to be a bait. Like, hey, I ass smashed the wrong way. Do a get up attack, and then. But Charlie's really good at doing stuff like that too. So, and that's, and that's like a beauty about Smash Brothers. Even though when you're commentating, like, you, <laughs> you kind of still don't know what the player was thinking at that given time. You know. Yeah, if only we could read minds. <laughs> yeah. But uh, forward air actually killing Void off the side. Something we don't see too often from him. Yeah. That was gonna be. Was he? I like to see. I like seeing the Joker. Was he playing Paulu for a while or no? Uh, Void. I'm not sure. I don't think so. Okay. There you go. I right, narrow into the dash tag. Great little tech chase right there, and Charlie just really putting the hurt onto Void right now. Yeah. Nice. Wolf Who flash. goes for it? Who goes really for that? But Charlie. Very really good wolf flash from Charlie. All right. He runs up, gets the grab, catches Void, holding shield. Charlie, no fear. Sitting at 182 percent, he refuses oh. to let Void scare him. Yeah, have have Void been going to a crawl tournament? I think so. All right, looks for the up tilt, doesn't find it, and then nice immediate tomahawk. tomahawk. That's really good tomahawk. Charlie taking real commanding lead versus Void over here with his stock right now. I, this is what I'm saying with his. Uh, oh, that would be, nah, never mind. I was like he's running. Good, good back there, like he's running off there. I really like watching Charlie's Wolf. It's like really yeah. fun. It's really a treat to watch because you see his difference compared to other wolves when they get their dash. You know, when they get their strings, you see the. They get one, two hits, reset, something like that. Just look to Shark. But Charlie just keeps the pressure up at Boyd, all times. I think Void missed that drag down right there. On the on the platform, he could got a drag down re grab. Ooh, babe. Ooh, nice. I like how fast Void, uh, Void's able to move with his character. Like, just watching some of these players play is really good. It's really a treat watching how they're able to move with their characters. I look for the F tilt. No, instead he just waits, calls out the jump with the up air and avoid fighting his way down with the guns. He has a really good back there. Can you get the Oh, well, he, well, he can do, if he takes a stock right now, I have Arson for Charlie's third stock. I really like his chances right now. Ooh, oh, and nice the Afto gets the two frame, and that'll do it. A Ooh, two stock for Charlie the King yeah, over Void. Such a good, ooh, that move is so good. The, I, I feel that's a move. I feel that's a move people like know is a good move. But I feel it's also a move that a lot of people don't talk about when they talk about Wolf. You know, everyone really talks about oh the down smash two frame and yeah, stuff. Yeah, they, like, they talk about his down smash and they talk about other things about Wolf. But I feel like his uh, his F tilt is one of his really yeah. really overlooked moves people don't complain about. Let's see if Void will stay with the Joker. Yeah, it's going to be Joker Wolf all the way through. He's doing really well. And Charlie has every reason to go into this next game extremely confident. Yeah, and that's, you know, when you're a player like Void, when you're one of the best, everybody comes to play you the hardest. You know, yeah. like, even when you're going, like, your character, you want to try your new character, everybody's going to, like, always go the hardest versus you. So I could see that could be some little unnecessary pressure when you're a really good player. Like, you always have everybody going the hardest against you. 
definitely have some like, uh, Void elbow. right now looking extremely solid, spacing in these back out and getting 62% on Charlie, but Charlie able to get just a little bit of an opening with the forward air into the upper. Ooh, nice parry. I, and now the ledge trapping from Void is looking so yeah, great yeah. right now. I'm liking the smaller stage counter pick. It's not giving Wolf Charlie a stage. lot of room. Oh, he's still able to do four. <laughs> he's still able to do his his Wolf Flash combos. Interesting. He Ooh. looks with a drag down, but he doesn't get it. Charlie what happened. nearly oh, escaping death. Ooh, he Ooh. Okay. He thought he, tech, he thought he was gonna have to tech. He thought he was gonna have to tech, but yeah. instead he got the directional air dodge buff. Yeah, that was just yes. weird that he got dragged yeah. off stage. Void with no jump, but Charlie not able to get the down smash two for him. This is this is the main thing people need to be looking at when you're watching top play. You need to watch these ledge trap options. That's where the battles like that was That's where the, the games are won. Yeah, the games on are the yeah, on the ledge. You gotta rack up the damage. You can have all the combos in the world, but if you can't ledge trap, you're gonna have a hard time. Ooh, I Ooh. like that call out. He just calls out. He says, "I know Ooh, you're gonna jump," shit. and a bad oh. angle from Charlie. This game, a bad angle. Charlie with the he's kind of that's something you can't be doing versus Boy. You can't have the miss input versus Boy. Yeah, you have to be playing 100 percent right now and. Charlie kind of looking like he burned too much, too many of his resources yeah. on game number one. Is he going to yeah. be able to adapt and bring this one back, or even you know yeah. take it on game number three? Yeah, because the hard thing about a character like uh, jo um, Joker and characters that have like the like a meter, trying to come back on those characters is pretty tough. Because now you got to, I mean, if he doesn't take this stock, he's not to deal with this stock and prior like arson for the next two or three stocks. You know? Yeah. Like so that's the so that's the real thing that's being hard when you're down versus uh I now Void just has Charlie on the ledge once again and a and a forward smash almost getting the JV3 stock but can he finish this off Charlie finally back onto center stage looking for an aerial but Void landing with the forward air just making it so difficult. Yeah. He's done really well. Ooh. And will Charlie able to Right, down tilt puts Void on the ledge, but what can Charlie do here? A nair out of shield is going to just yeah, force Charlie him away. got some really, he could still get his there. Oh, he could oh, he could have the nair. Oh, that would have been really cool by Charlie. But Charlie, he, no double jump, uh, and that's it. Oh, he has to be careful to and respect the guns. You hate to see it. I mean, yeah, it's like, yeah, that was pretty unfortunate. Maybe hopefully Charlie will bring it back, because that game, he was like, there's just too much spaghetti wheels on the ledge. It was like very too much spaghetti. And hopefully he's able to somehow find a way to like cut the spaghetti short, you know. Probably like, yeah, that game just looks so much more confident for Void, so much more commanding. We're yeah, gonna as much, it was, it was a good play by Void, but he was not making mistakes. But like, Charlie gave up some very like, the way Charlie died was really anticlimactic. Pretty much every time. Yeah, yeah every like the air dodge. Air dodge off stage, miss angled right. and up B. And then the last one with the guns. Got yeah. his jump caught by guns. Yeah, so if this, he's able to avoid silly things, little yeah, cuts, I yeah. feel he could really take. I mean, I have a. He has a good chance of taking this game. Yeah, and we're back on PS2 again where Charlie did win game number one. So, so what, stage you, well, what, stage, well, what stage do you usually ban versus uh, Wolf? Versus Wolf? Damn, I don't know. I don't yeah. like FD and Kalos. So those are just generally my bans in general. Oh, yeah, okay. General, but, and um, you know what's funny? For the longest time, people were, like, taking Wolf to FD forever. Then I they realized they learned that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you don't want all that stage for that character, like, fair string you, nair, back air you off stage, so. Do what really wants. Good. Side B gets interrupted by the, by Joker side B, but he's able to up these straight through the guns, get some oh damage on. That Boy, was so cool. That I feel like a double, yeah, he could have, that was like, that was I really. I feel like that was game number two playing an effect on yeah. Charlie. Maybe he was scared of trying to tech that uh, one. Oh, yeah, that's it. Sometimes, like, the rise, like, the, the no tech can save you. Like, when you're, like, and then that's the crazy thing about this game, right? So, when you're a really good player and you're playing against really good players, sometimes not teching could be a good option because they're going to expect you to tech and then they want to, oh, good stuff. I, okay, well, no jump. Scratch what I, I mean, like, what I said the last game about <laughs> Void is really a death. For a minute really in and Void's already yeah. taking two stocks. Down air onto Void, but he's not going to get anything. Gets an up air, catching the jump out of shield. He's playing really, like, out. I think Charlie says I know, but Void is really getting his groove. Everything is clicking to him. He's getting his dress. He's getting his fall down. Oh, all right, back nice row. Oh wow, that was good. Good. Wow, Void really came alive the last two games. Yeah, it really uh, yeah. just doesn't even look like the same guy that was playing. No, it was one. like it looked like someone else was playing. Somebody had like the broken, very ill-advised move by Charlie there. 
And that'll be a, a quick solid flea stock for Void. For Void. That was safe. Damn. Wow.